Hi, this is Greg, KF4CRU. I'll show you real quick. I uh, see a lot of people talking about how to uh, use the antenna tuner to get it to, uh, to, to key up. And there's, there's two or three different ways of doing it. I'm going to show you real quick what I've done. This seems to be a lot of people's use. Uh, you'll need the 15 pin uh, plug, then plug. Uh, you may have one laying around off a computer. You see, this is the other end what I cut off. And what I wired it to is a uh, foot switch. Uh, this is the Timco. You can pick these up on eBay. In fact, I picked up three. They're aluminum. They actually come wired, but the wire is short, so I, I went with this longer. That way, the, I just cut it off, sorted it to it. Uh, and it works for me. I wanted a foot switch. At first, I had a hands button. I wanted a foot switch to free my hands up. So, sit it back down here on the floor. Uh, real simple. Let me change frequencies here well, there's no one at real simple all you have to do is when you uh, set I've got the power set I think to 20 watts uh, when I push the foot switch it sends a carrier kicks it into CW mode and reduces the uh, power and I'm running a uh, multi-band dipole in my attic so every time I do switch uh, bands I have to tune real quick but this is pretty fast so if you'll notice here on the uh, LDG uh, 600 Pro I'm just going to push the switch real quick and you can see the, the uh, uh, standing wave was all the way to the max so all you do is just push the uh, foot switch and hold it down and I'll hit the tune button and it'll, it'll tune that quick and that was it uh, if it, this has got memory if you've been on the frequency before it, it, it memorizes it and goes back. I'm going to push the uh, foot switch again. If you notice, I'm getting uh, 20 watts out, 25, and there's no no standing wave. Uh, I'm go all the way up to the far end. I'm on the 17 meters. Hit the foot switch again. You can notice there's still no standing wave on on that. Uh, Certain bands I have to tune maybe twice. Some of them, depending on everybody's antenna, is going to be different. Uh, you may be able to tune one time in the center of the uh, frequency and it holds it uh, down on 10 meters. I usually, from one end to the other, would have to tune twice. So, show you real quick. Let's go over to uh, 20 meters. Make sure there's nobody. Even though I'm at low power, I want to make sure there's nobody on the frequency. Uh, I'm going to push the foot switch. You can see the SWR was all the way up, so all you do is... And if you notice, I'm still getting just a cut, a little bit of 1.3. Because I'm all the way up, I'm at uh, 14.341. Which, that's acceptable. My, my amp, I'm running the uh, Maritron ALS 600. It's not as forgiving as a tube amp on the standing wave, so you, you definitely need it lower. Uh, but... With the LDG, you can tune it manually just like you would. Uh, it's, it's got buttons instead of a, a roller. So on the capacitance up, if you notice I'm getting 1.3, just rule of thumb. I'm going to increase it 1. And see what that did? It took it out. So that got you real quick. And let's say we want to go up to a drop down to 10 meters. that quick it, it, it tuned it if you notice I've got a little bit of standing wave hit it now if you notice I'm not pushing down I'm not putting any power to it uh, when I hit the tune button now that actually raised it so I'm going to go the other direction take the one off that I just put on do one more and that did it so a lot of that is just playing with it the, the capacitance and inductance is no different uh, adjusting it manually uh, than you would uh, I had MFJ986 at the roller inductor. Same thing, it's just quicker. Uh, my hands are freed up because I'm using the foot switch. And I actually, the, the, the Timco that I showed you, I ordered three of them. And that's what I also wired to my push to talk for the, this radio and my, and my TS2000. So I have three of the uh, switches on the floor. The tune button is in the middle. So that way I can hit it real quick, tap that, and I'm done. And then, of course, my amp was in standby. Turn it on and, and you're good to go. And you've seen how quick you can change frequencies. Hit the foot switch, tap tune, and you're done. It's that quick. So 
Hope that helps. 73, everyone.